There's a special exhibition at Halwell Castle on the theme of toilets and hot baths. This is the privy in the front castle. The water channels were built over several stories and emptied into the moat. It sounds unhygienic, but there were only a few families and their servants living here, so the amount of waste was quite small. And they didn't drink the water from the moat, as this experimental archaeologist explains. This is a water channel. Holes are bored into the thin trunks of spruce or fir trees. Wherever possible, pipes were laid, sometimes over several kilometers, to bring the source water to the castle, as it was always better to drink source water. It would take one man about a year to bore the holes for two kilometers of water pipes. The system was very reliable. These sorts of pipes were used right up until 1950. We're making a purely herbal soap based on a formula that was used 4,000 years ago. That's NaOH, caustic soda. It's a natural substance. You can get it from salt. It's a very aggressive compound and is used, for example, to clean drains. These are soap suds made from soap wort which grows on the banks of streams, rivers, in marshy meadows, and on the edges of forests, anywhere wet. You put the leaves of the wort in water and stir it with a wooden spoon. You get terrific suds from it, lovely and foamy. People used to soak their clothes in it scrub them, beat them, and then lay them out or hang them up to dry. That made them clean. Borkhard III or Johannes would have sat in the tub and the maids would have to heat up big pots of water on the fire so that the master could bathe. But it sounds like a lot of work and we can assume that people bathed a lot less in those days than they do today.